As a developer, you probably have been using ChatGPT or GitHub Copilot to enhance your speed of development. Myself, I've been an avid user of both these products since almost day one. But maybe you're also looking to learn how to use AI in your own product. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the library LangChain.js to interface with models such as those from OpenAI. You can use LangChain for a whole range of models. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this library to do prompting on an OpenAI model. For today's stream, I've set up a new application using Veet. So Veet, if you haven't heard about it, it's a really cool runtime to build JavaScript application. It's also build time because it compiles and builds your applications so you can host them basically anywhere. And in this video, I'm using a Veet application that basically looks like ChatGPT. So let me run this application and show you what it looks like. You can see this application looks like JetGPT. It has a box that we can use to ask a question, and then it has some blank space, which we'll be using later on to show our questions and the answers. So let me stop the development server. And the thing we're going to do now is we're going to install LangChain. So install LangChain. LangChain is really just a JavaScript library. So we install it and then we're able to interface with different LLMs. If you haven't heard about LangChain, it was first released as a Python SDK, uh, but now it's also available in JavaScript. It's pretty cool. It also has TypeScript support. So working with TypeScript, like I usually do, then you should be well off using LangChain as well. So let me clear my terminal. And I've installed LangChain, but it's not everything I need. I also need an OpenAI API key because I want to use a ChatGPT model for my question and answering. Let me head over to OpenAI where we're going to create a API key. The OpenAI isn't just doing ChatGPT. You can also use it to use their models in your own application. They have something cool to call the playground. And you can even fine tune a model based on your own data. What we need for today is we need to create a new secret key. So this is the API key that we'll be using in the application. And let me call this, I don't know, LangChain intro, the same as what I called my application. This creates a new secret key and I made sure to blur this so you won't be able to use my key here as well. And let me copy this. I'm going to bring over my secret key to my application where I'm going to use it and pass it over to LangChain. I'll be creating a new file, which will be my environment file. And in this environment file, I'm going to paste my OpenAI API key. Let me call it OpenAI API key as well. Uh, that way it's easy to, um, to remember what it is for. This is my API key. I probably need to get rid of basis and S in there. But this is my environment file that contains the OpenAI API key. And I'm going to use this together with LangChain. In this file, I'm going to set up the connection uh, with OpenAI. So first I need to import the OpenAI class from LangChain. And then I need to create a connection with my LLM by using this class. So to OpenAI, then I need to set my OpenAI API key and this should be equal to my environment variable that I stored in the environment file. As I'm using Vite, I need to type this in order to get the API key. Um, I think it says feed here, but I don't need to use this part. And it should be able to get the OpenAI key um, from my environment variable. Just to remind you, the application that we're building looks like this. So I've set up a connection with LangChain. The next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I can interface with LangChain and ask a question to the LLM. How we're going to do this, let's head back to VS Code. So in this file, I'm going to create a new function and I'm going to make it a async function. Call this get answer and it will take input which is a question and this question is string and what I'm going to do here as well I'm going to use the LLM.predict const 
Tensor is a weight. Thank you, GitHub Copilot, doing the wrong thing. Uh, I want to do LLM predict, and then in the predict, I'm going to pass my question. I probably need to do some fancy things like um, maybe do a try and a wait. Do a let for answer. It's just an empty string. And then I'm going to do a try catch. Because maybe I run out of tokens or whatever. Um, would always happen. Maybe I have any other issues. I mean, if you think about how often KGPT ran into issues, I must prepare for the worst. Uh, and I'm also going to export this. So we created a new function which is called get answer, and it takes a question and it returns an answer. If this, I've now saved this function. The next step I'm going to take is I go to my application here and I'm going to import this function. Import um, my function, which is called get answer uh, from my LangChain file. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable that's all question, not answer, but question, but at least I'm going to take the GitHub Copilot suggestion and do question set value for question. It can just be an empty string first. And then I'm going to set a new handler function, which is also an asynchronous function. Um, handle submit. So this is going to submit, going to handle the submit of my form. And then from here, I can just say prevent default. The answer should be get this answer. So I'm creating a variable for the question because I need to create a controlled component out of my text area here. Question. And then whenever we have a change, look for the target value, and we can set a controlled variable for a question. Of course, I need to import use state as well. So the handle submit function, I want to submit this function whenever I'm doing some here. So form component, and whenever I'm using, well, it's not really a component, it's an element. Whenever I'm using this, um, to submit the form, I want to do. I want to execute my handler function, so I'm going to write this. This vector all my code, and that should be it. It should now console log my answer. npm run dev, and then we should be able to go back to our application running in the browser. In my browser, I have the ChatGPT clone open, and I can start asking a question. So let me ask the question, what is Beat.js? It's the JavaScript uh, runtime build time that we're using today. And in my console, you can see VJS is an open source JavaScript development tool for building modern application. This is basically what I said, but then in better wording. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about the possibilities of using LangChain.js in your own products as well.